here's the first over. And Jeffrey Boycott's taking strike to that great fast bowler, Dennis Dilley. And with me in the commentary box is Ted Dexter. Boycott's away. Three to boycott, and Larkin stay out of take strike to Lily. Not quite a time that, but Larkins is off the mark. Field there by Willem. And that's nudged away, exactly where the gully was moved from. Nicely controlled shot, kept it down, run it down to third man. There is no third man. So Boycott will pick up three runs there. Beautiful shot. Put nicely down the square leg. Four runs. Type of uh, stroke there that people at Northampton have been used to seeing coming from the bat of Wayne Larkins. Doesn't he look splendid in the umpire's hat? Bit of the Groucho marks there. Well, it needed the umpire's hat for some action to come, even if it was worn by uh, D. Lilly. Just shows you what authority that hat yields. Yeah. Two. Length to a nice length the legs. Water Larkins. Beautiful time stroke from Wayne Larkins. He picks that ball off his legs very, very well indeed. And that went really quickly to the boundary. Good shot again. Nice timing off the back foot to bring up the 50 for England. And they've done it rather comfortably Larkins has gone to 28 17 to boycott and he's gone a little bit quicker that one and fraction more bounce and Larkins having just Past his previous best in Test cricket, 33, falls to Dennis Lilly, caught by Terry Alderman at slip for 34. So Dennis Lilly goes to 280 Test match wickets. Larkins goes back to the pavilion.
brings Chris Tavare to take strike last ball of Bright's over. And he's off the mark too. Not a, in spectacular fashion, but uh, it's always a relief to get the first runs in the test match innings. Great attempt that at a slip catch. Outside edge from Jeff Boycott. And uh, mid the diving bodies, Terry Alderman was the second slip fielder. And this delivery slanted across Jeff Boycott. And in the end, a little bit wide to play at, and that definitely carried to Terry Alderman. A great effort, low down to his left. Oh, that's over pitch, the rare one. Not hit with any power, but it's pushed very easily through mid off. Spring boy got two more runs. Boy got 39. Oh, great shout going up. Is this going to be the first four for Boy got? No, it's not. That it will certainly be three. Bob Willis pretty sure he's not going to be required again Tom today. and Tony Lewis. No third man. Willem recovers. And a handsome start. Three runs to Jeffrey Boycott. Applause for Jeffrey Boycott because Jeffrey Boycott has scored his half century of 138 balls in 180 minutes. <coughs> Nicely placed and well timed. Well, I'm the sprinter. Three runs, Chris Tavery. Oh dear. <laughs> well, uh, he couldn't get in like the rest of you, but <laughs> uh, maybe he's not all that interested anyway. Fine shot. Well, I'll touch the Colin Carberry's about that too. Strikes boycott, I think, on the shoulder. I'm okay, says to Rod Marsh, who inquired. Uh, just watch this very carefully. We, we, we couldn't see quite where this hit Jeff Boycott, but it looked like the helmet. From behind it, yes, right off the helmet. No real force in the shot. An excellent bowling by Dennis Lilly after the two short deliveries. The attempted Yorker well up. Well, that's a real pleasant shot again this time off the back foot. Fell a short from Lilly, but uh, nicely timed by Tavry and uh, beginning now to show his true Kentish form. He's tried again and he's gone and caught behind. Chris Tavry not waiting for the umpire's decision. Knew he got a little outside edge. So just when he was really running into something like his true form, great pity that uh, Tavry should go. He's on uh, 24 as he walks back, which leaves England now on 131 for two. And in the book once more, Court Marsh, Bow Lilly. He's uh, almost chinned him that time, I think. Yes, he has. 
That's the third time he's taken one on the helmet, one on the chest on the previous overs from Lily. But, uh, that seemed to catch him a glancing blow around about the cheek and, and chin. And uh, Boycott doesn't look terribly unhappy about it. Dirk Willem at uh, backward point. 71 to Boycott, and that's 71 so far without a boundary. There have been innings played in first class cricket, um, centuries made with uh, no boundary scored. I don't know of any instance in a test match, actually, but uh, certainly it's happened a couple of times in, or well, a number of times in uh, first-class ma uh, matches. No third man. The fielding position that's gone out of fashion and produces so many runs for the batsmen these days. First boundary for Boycott. The statisticians can put away their pencils. Jeffrey so Boycott's gone to 76. Well, he's going to get away with it. One he has decided to try and pull was uh, well outside the off stump, which made it very difficult. He's changed his mind halfway through the shot, as um, Graham Wood did, but uh, Mike Gatting's got away with it. Just flew a little bit too far. He looked for a moment as though he's going to go under that as well. Of all the people I wouldn't have thought I'd see do that, it's Mike Gatting. I mean, he's been a fine player of quick bowling. He's very, very gutsy. And he's thought about ducking, but he's just kept his eye on it long enough. Well, he's just got himself in a tangle, and he'll have to get that sorted out. That's the time, and the placing was even better. Well, I'm the fielder. 50 stand comes up now for Boycott and Gatting. 181 for two. And uh, Whitney is going to come around the wicket to him. You don't see too many inexperienced young test bowlers doing that be interested to see where he finishes up running after he's let go of the ball and i think we've got the answer to that straight away <laughs> because he <No>. ran <laughs> he ran right down the line of middle stump absolutely right on the middle three paces <laughs> he went down and you watch this, oh, dear me. Watch the follow through, and look at that. My goodness me. He wouldn't have got an LBW if Dickie Bird couldn't have seen it. Well, I like the pained expression on Dickie Bird's face. <laughs> well, here's Whitney again. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work for a young lad who hasn't had enough practice of doing it. As soon as he stops following through properly, he's going to be all over the place with line and length. Good sweep. Beaten Whitney down on the boundary. That was a good shot from Jeff Boycott. And he goes to 95. Nice fine sweep. 196 for two. shot no third man there it's uh, more and more these days 
becomes just a matter of giving away runs to the opposition. 200 comes up for England for the loss of two wickets, Larkins and Tavare. And Gatting goes to 32. Looks a different player after lunch. Another sweep, but another four. Oh, great save, but it still goes onto the rope. And Boycott gets his hundred. A marvellous attempt by Whitney to stop it. And applause from all the Australians now for Geoffrey Boycott's hundred. 33 to Gatting, it's 206 for two. And Geoffrey Boycott has hit his century from 243 balls. It took him 328 minutes, and there are only three fours in it. It's his 21st Test century and his seventh against Australia. There's another one. Well, break up, not off the middle of the bat, but good enough. in the air down to third man of all places full toss outside leg stump and this is quite a high full toss and I don't think Mike Gatting picked it up terribly well he sort of had a paddle at it got a top edge and it went straight over first slip Gatting plays the same shot, but with more strength, more grip of the bat. And he takes two. Applause for the 100 partnership. Jeffrey Boycott and Mike Gatting came together with the score at 131. to Mike Gatting, Mike Gatting's 15th applause for the half century, his third half century of this test match series. And it's taken him 152 minutes. A new ball in first ball, yes. A new ball, error of judgment again. And Lily strikes, he's now taken all three wickets. One in each spell, and he was rather delighted with that. Thought it was going to be the outswinger, it completely fooled Mike Gatton. Offering no shot, the ball nipping back. his first look at Alderman today. And he's gone, yes, beautifully taken a third slip. So another tragic failure here for Mike Brearley. Out without opening his account. And England slumping away to 248. And now for the loss of four wickets. Paul Paul Parker in his uh, first test match and another triumphant spell here by Alderman dismissing Brearley for North Paul Parker just a couple of balls and he's gone also caught in the slip similar sort of shot immense disappointment for this uh, promising young Sussex cricketer 248 for five now
So, and he's dropped him. Well, this could really have been tragedy there. Outside edge, straight into first slip's hands, down it goes. And the man they really want to see the back of, Boycott, remains. In fact, uh, picks up two more runs, takes it on to 250. And there is a relatively simple chance to slip. Alderman to Botham. Oh, Botham away, full flow of the bat. Well, I'm giving chase. We'll certainly pull it up inside the ropes. And uh, Botham running well there. He's made it into three for Ian Botham. And he's gone, that's off the edge, and Lily strikes. Both of them go. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Perfectly timed shot, square on the leg side, bringing Boycott four runs, and also taking in past a thousand runs for the season. And that's a feat he's accomplished now for 19 consecutive seasons. Uh, I doubt uh, very much whether he's had to wait till the end of August on very many of those occasions to do it. But really a beautiful shot. Everything right, in position. Oh, handsome. Well, it's a fair whack to across the boundary rope. And this shows what a good wicket it is. It wasn't really a half volley, and Alan Knott striking it on the up and timing it beautifully, and it just made the long off boundary. Oh, another handsome shot, and down to that vacant third man boundary. Four more to not. 288 for six, the England score. Oh, what a fantastic catch by Graham Yallop. A magnificent catch. High to the right hand. Celebration. Congratulations for Graham Yallop. Jeffrey Boycott has gone. 137 runs, Jeffrey Boycott scored, and England 293 for seven. And a fine innings this by Jeff Boycott. He's played better and better as he's gone on. And but for him, England would have been in dreadful trouble.